Hello and welcome to this training series on creating the BI sample schema for your Oracle Business Intelligence installation. The first step in this process is to download the zip file. If you look in the description of my video, you will see a link. If you download this zip file and then extract it to your desktop, you should see something similar to this. We have several files inside the zip. If you extract everything to your desktop, the first step we want to run BI sample user. So how do we run this and where do we run this? Well, we want to start and connect to the Oracle database. So the easiest way to do this is to click your start menu and type in command for command prompt. Once we have this open, we want to set the working path to this folder on our desktop. We can do this by typing in set SQL path and then this location here. But this will be different for you. So you have to modify this for your folder wherever you have this zip file extracted. So you can see here I've typed into the command from set SQL path equal and then the path of my folder. I can then press enter. Once I've done that, then I can start SQL plus forward slash as sysdba and this connects to the Oracle database as the DBA user. Once we've connected to the database, you can see here this is what you will be presented with. We want to run this script. So if we have a quick look inside it, just to give you an idea of what it looks like, it's creating a user BI sample. It's giving it a password, a password of BI sample, a default table space, and then granting it some roles and privileges. So if you want to, you can modify your password here, but otherwise you can leave it as it is. So we want to run this script. We do this by typing at and then the name of the file. So we have bi sample underscore user. Once we've typed this in, we can just hit enter. And you can see here that this script is then run. So we have created this user in our database as the system DBA. What we now want to do is we want to reconnect to the database, not as the system DBA, but as the BI sample user. I can type disconnect and then connect. And I can enter the username BI sample. And the password again is the same, BI sample. Okay, I am now connected. And you can see I'm connected as BI sample. So what I want to do now is I want to create the schema inside this user's schema. You can see here, if I open this with Notepad, it's creating tables for our BI sample schema. Once we've created the tables, then we can add the data. This is inside this zip file. So this n the next step is we want to run this file, BI sample schema. We do that as previously by typing the at symbol and then the name of the file. As you can see, I've typed at bi sample underscore schema underscore 825. I can then hit enter. And my script is run. Final step is to extract this folder, bi sample data. You can see I've already done this. So I'm going to bring this file back into my path. And I'm going to finally run the inserts for this 
database. So we can insert data into this database. You can see here, if I open this file, it's quite a large file. You can see here that's inserting into the tables that we've just created. So I can type this file name here, at, uh, as you can see, at symbol followed by the file name. Once I've done that, then I can just hit enter and it will start inserting data into my database. Okay, you can see now it looks like the commit is complete and we have inserted data into our database. To confirm that this process worked, we can select some data from our database, such as sample offices D. Okay, you can see here that we have 20 rows returned. So we've confirmed that we have created the database schema and we have inserted data into our database. So that is great. Now we can use this data in our Oracle Business Intelligence installation to create our analytics. Thanks for watching.